Hey guys, my name is Chelsea and this is Anxious Makers, a place on YouTube where you can find all things candle making. I have been a uh, candle maker for about five years now, but YouTube is a very new journey for me. So I am dipping my toes in the water here and hopefully I will be able to teach you as much as I can and give you as much knowledge and tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. So today's video, we're actually gonna talk about the top seven things that you're gonna need to start your candle making journey. Now this is for the very, very beginners, the ones that have never made a candle before, the ones who are interested in maybe just picking it up as a hobby or maybe even starting it as a business. So let's get started. So like I said, this is for the baby, baby beginners, um, the hobbyists, the ones that are maybe looking to um, dabble into the candle making business. Um, all of these products, all of these items are going to be coming from Amazon um, and that's simply because that's going to be the fastest and cheapest way to figure out if this is something that you're going to want to do. You're not going to be stuck with tons of product and tons of wax and tons of um, many other supplies that you need while you're candle making. So Amazon is the best place to get started. So, so the first thing that you're gonna need is something to melt your wax in. And that's gonna be something called a double boiler. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with double boilers. It is a pot with a little bit of water and you put a pitcher, a pouring pitcher inside of that pot with boiling water. Now what you do with that is you put the wax in, watch it melt and all that good stuff. But the most important part is one large pot or a melting pot device, which I will link down below. And you're going to need several double pitchers. The third thing and one of the most important things that you're gonna need is an infrared thermometer. Some people use um, regular digital thermometers. Some people use what kind of looks like a meat thermometer. Um, I definitely suggest an infrared thermometer. It looks like a cool little gun. It has a red laser on the end of it. And what that does, it's going to accurately read that extremely hot wax. Um, it's very important to get your wax to a very particular temperature depending on your wax. And I have found the infrared thermometers have absolutely the best reading as far as temperature gauging. All right, and the fourth item that you're gonna need are long wooden stirring spoons. I'm talking those long ones that we stir with grandma's lemonade, the big long ones. Um, those are going to prevent you from dipping your hand too far into that pouring picture, maybe burning yourself, maybe getting wax on your hand. So um, as many long wooden spoons as you can get your hands on. They're very, very cheap. Again, everything is from Amazon. The fifth item that you're gonna need is a digital scale. Um, that is very important to weigh your wax properly, to weigh the percentage of your fragrance oils. Everything depends on science. So <laughs> the best way to weigh everything correctly and make sure everything goes smoothly is to get yourself a digital scale. The sixth thing that you're gonna need are wick clips. These are little guys that go on the bottom of your vessel or your jar, and that's what holds your wick in place, whether it be a cotton wick or a wooden wick. Um, there are several different options. So first you need to decide, are you making a wooden wick candle or a traditional cotton or hemp wick candle? Either way, you're gonna need a wick clip. All right, and your seventh and final item that you're gonna need to start making your candles are baking sheets. Now hear me out on this one. Baking sheets are very important because they allow you to pour a certain number of candles, depending on the size of your baking sheet, all at once. And that helps you be able to keep them all in place so you don't have to move them separately. So let's say you have a half sheet. You can fit about 12, 15 ounce candles on that half sheet. You pour your small batches in dozens that way. All the candles are together and that way you can pick up the sheet and move them to cure wherever they're gonna cure for the two weeks that they need. So baking sheets I have found are probably my biggest pro tip 
and that is going to free up so much space so much time and so much mess guys i hope you enjoyed that was your seven things that you are going to start needing whether you're going to make candles as a hobby dip your toes in the water a little bit or even if you have been candle making for a while maybe you didn't pick up the baking sheet tip so i will link everything down below please subscribe help a girl out here this is a very new and terrifying journey for me also, I have linked my website down below. Please feel free to check us out and send me an email or send me a comment if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks guys.